I think it would be good to pause for people and talk about that future of education thesis. And we're going to, in a second, get into a few of the other big ideas that you and I were chatting about what we discussed today bubbled up around Launch House. And I think there's a lot of actually really interesting things to explore. So maybe we can just start with getting your take on the future of education and what that looks like. And if you could just maybe lay out that at a super high level for us. Yeah. So basically what we've seen, there's this amazing graph that shows the price of goods, the average price of goods over time the change. And it basically shows television sets, the average price has plummeted because all these materials are easier to extract from the earth. We have technologies for extracting them, like supply lines are, or they used to be good currently in a supply maybe line. Maybe good again. <laughs> yeah, maybe good again. But um, yeah, the price of TVs has plummeted because that's how technology works. It makes things easier and easier. And in education, the price of textbooks and a college degree has skyrocketed absolutely skyrocketed, which is really ironic because guess what? Textbooks have what? They have information in it. Information is free now. Information is everywhere. The textbooks actually have less good information than Wikipedia that is like curated by who knows. And then same thing with education, higher education. An English degree is like hundreds of thousands of dollars these days. And it's way too expensive for what you're getting. And so that's basically a sign of a bubble. You have the value of something is massively declining and the cost is massively increasing. That is a huge bubble. We've been predicting this for a long time. People have been talking about what the future of education will look like for a long time. And in my opinion, it's going to look like basically every other future of media, future of money, future of this. It's going to be a bunch of people basically sticking their middle finger up to the institutions and saying, we're just exiting the system. There's no integration. It's not like, hey, we're going to build tools for Harvard to like help them like modernize. No, the new Harvard, the new Stanford, the new even like technical college is not going to be at all associated with these institutions and it's going to replace them. So just like Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is going to replace fiat currency, not because it's integrating with the system or it's like we're working with governments to help them. No. The next currencies are not going to be fiat based. Same thing with media companies. The new media companies, podcasters, not everybody's hanging out in Hollywood, right? The new media companies are not traditional media based. And so that's what's going to happen in education. I think what's going to happen is it's starting from the top. Like a master's degree and beyond is basically the least necessary education. It's the most expensive and it's actually the most targeted at a specific use case or discipline. Oh, I need to get my MBA so that I can level up in my job. I need to get a master's in engineering to, to level up. Who gets a master's in engineering anymore? Software engineering. Who, nobody. why would you need that? No, <laughs> yeah. nobody. Right. So I don't know anyone that has it. Yeah. yeah. I know a lot of very yes. smart engineers, but that's just not the path I think people are naturally going down anymore. Yeah. yeah. So I think what's happening is you have the technology industry, which is basically taking over every industry. Every business is a technology business right now. And so what that means is the master's MBA programs need to be masters of technology business programs, and they're not. Some of them are Stanford, Harvard turns out a bunch of entrepreneurs, but they're really training people to go and work at McKinsey and these banks to become CEOs of you know old school Fortune 500 companies, not be founders or not even be executives at current technology companies. And so what I think is happening is that new institutions like Launch House, On Deck, Y Combinator... Antler, Techstars, these are organizations that are basically going to be replacing the business school and training people in the technology industry. Now, we've had people who've gone to GSB in Columbia basically walk in on day one and say, my first day here was more valuable than every single other day I've had at universities. Which is a really great endorsement of what you're working on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's great. Yeah. No, I mean, like we basically walk around and say we're like the anti-YC and we're the anti Stanford and in our current cohort, we have somebody who's dropping out of Stanford right now. And we have two people who declined going to YC 